The original articles here from Ars Technica and Google support, actually. Google is rolling out its new privacy sandbox for the web, a user tracking ad platform that's baked into Chrome that uses the information collected through the browser to inform websites what topic the user is interested in for the purpose of targeted ads. The feature is apparently intended to one day replace third party cookies. Wow, let's let's put more power in the Google monopoly. What do you think? Yeah, Seems like a good idea? It seems like a good idea sketchy. to me. Slash S. I feel like I have to say that. Yeah, it's probably not a bad idea. Yeah, you know. uh, users will now see a pop-up asking them to turn on an ad privacy feature that will give them more choice over the ads they see while protecting their browser history and identity. While the pop-up does note that users can make changes in Chrome settings, it doesn't clarify that the feature can be opted out of, and clicking that the highlighted got it at the bottom of the page enables it by default. <laughs> other users have reported, speaking of dark patterns, uh, really. other users have reported seeing a version that makes the option to opt out explicit, but it's unclear if this is in response to criticism of the initial pop-up or if it's a regional difference in areas that have more stringent legal standards. Got it? Re like, this first one is extremely dark pattern. Uh, here, well, here, we can actually show it. Uh, this is what it looks this like. This one's rough. Enhanced ad privacy in Chrome. Blah, 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 blah. Got it. I, I guarantee you the vast majority of people are going to go like, oh, some weird uh, update. Okay, got it. Yep. I, I want to go to my Honestly, the, my Facebook or whatever it is. Like, Yep. Yeah. Uh, this is the other version, by the way. Which makes way more sense. Yep. Meanwhile, um, oh yeah, so I don't know. There's not really much discussion here. That bad. Uh, <laughs> Meanwhile, YouTube will be altering creators' ad controls in November by removing individual ad controls in YouTube Studio for pre-roll, post-roll, skippable, and non-skippable ads on new videos, and instead making them a single toggle, on or off. Interesting. Um, according to YouTube, oh man, I love it when companies provide this rationale for changing the granularity of your options as a user. According to YouTube, 90% of creators already have these, okay, this says off by default, but I suspect that is not right. Um, I suspect they mean on by default. 90% of creators already have these set this way by default, that's what I'm assuming this says. And some found the options confusing. You gotta love that, that some. Some creators didn't like the thumbs down feature so we can remove it. We have basically infinite creators, so there will always be some group of people that think something, and therefore we can do anything that we want. All it takes is 0.000001% of creators to find something confusing. Um, and some creators will find it confusing. Mid-roll ads, however, will still be fully controlled by creators for now. I added for now, but... Honestly, the, the way this slippery slope is sliding uh, really does feel like a for now. Further, YouTube says creators will be able to choose to have automated mid-roll ad breaks or manually selected ones. Uh, oh, and manually selected ones rather than choosing one or the other. Okay, so some context for you guys. The way that it works now, you choose to just let YouTube pick where to put mid-rolls based on where it doesn't disrupt user retention or more likely where it makes sense for the amount of time it's been since that individual user has seen a mid-roll. Mm -hmm. uh, because they, they try not to, they try to ride the exact line between what you will tolerate and what will make you exit the app, right? So if someone goes from a video where YouTube chose the mid-roll spots and there happened to be two in the latter half or something like that, and then they click on a video where the user picked the mid-roll spots and they happen to have a couple front-loaded, they could end up accidentally overloading someone. Uh, but in spite of that potential hmm. issue, they are now giving better control over mid-rolls. So you can basically go, well, I definitely want one here, but also you can put them anywhere else you feel like. Uh, my understanding is most creators do use the automated mid-roll breaks as opposed to the manually selected ones, but... Um, 
I, 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 I don't sure have any numbers to back that there's some that have like that very up. important content pacing, which might want to frame it. Yeah, I think mostly, though, Mr. Beast uses automated ones the last time I heard about it. And so basically whatever he does is kind of the meta. What everyone's going to do. Yeah. Um, apparently, apparently he's like trying thumbnails where he doesn't have his mouth open or something. And like he saw some positive results from that. So, hey, maybe that's maybe that's new meta as well is no more no more YouTuber face or I, he's still got his like lips open, but he's like, if you look back, like the last six videos or something like that, he's smiling like this in all of them instead of like that. Um, sure. It looks like like almost like AI generated face. If Mr. Beast, uh, here, I can I switch over to your laptop? Yeah. If Mr. Beast jumped off a bridge, I really do think that a lot of other people would do it. Would just do it with him. Yep. Oh geez, what's happening? Oh geez. Oh, geez. The Zoom. The Zoom is not happy. Wow, Luke. We're going to end it. Do you even compute? Well, the, the touch screen is... Luke, compute them. The touch... <laughs> we won't be making that shirt anytime soon. No. <laughs> but yeah, some, something about the, the thumbnails. Uh, his face looks very edited. This is great. Um, if in 724 and float plane chat says spoke too soon, that is not better. <laughs> so I, I didn't see their original comment, but I guess they were saying, oh, this will be a big improvement. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay, we're back to your laptop. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Can, uh, can anyone's teeth actually be that white? That's that's kind of what I'm saying. Like it 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 yeah. it, it almost looks like a really really good Sims model. Can't deny that it works. Some something is being edited there. Literally anywhere from a hundred to two hundred million views per video. I mean, who else can do that? If that smile could get me a hundred million views, sure I'll smile like that. I, I mean, I tried. I didn't do as good of a job. I'm not as young as him, unfortunately. And, and now we need to photo edit you. Looks yeah, AI yeah, generated. Yeah, that. like almost does. It has. I don't. I don't know what it is. And like, I've, I've, I've obviously seen him. So like, I'm not saying he looks like that. I'm just like these. Yeah, he looks like a pretty, pretty normal dude. Yeah, and then the, these, it, they just something's different. I don't know what it is. 